Hey guys, I want you to, um, this is actually a lab and I want you guys, this will be part of your assignment. So I want you guys to use the in-app uh, ZenCap GUI. So again, double click on it. And the concept of this is if we, if you use the VMware and you install Windows 2012, you'll be on the same network as your computer. And what you could do is on your computer, you could go back and install the zone alarm and turn it off. And then what you could do is you can make calls to that IP address and evaluate whether uh, there's some type of vulnerabilities. But what we're going to do is we're, I found some old websites that are still around that probably shouldn't be around. So like, for example, let's go to this website here uh, and we'll, we'll try to scan these websites to see if there's any vulnerabilities. So Space Jam, which I didn't even know it was around, dot com. Um, there it is. So spacejam.com. So if you remember Space Jam growing up, which was a long time ago with Bugs Bunny and, and uh, 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 Michael Jordan. So I'm going to use that website address and we'll see if that actually, um, we could probably get an IP from it. You want to choose intense, intense scan and click scan. And let's see if we get anything from it at all. So it says archive warning no targets were specified so ho zero hosts were scanned let's see here uh, t -t 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 -t. let's see if we could change it around a little bit uh, that's it um so it did evaluate you can get the ip address of it so if you go to ip config you can at least go in and evaluate what um what we have going on there but it doesn't seem like there's much happening so i was under impression that we at least get something that would have uh, been involved. Let's see, we'll find something else. Um, here is another one. This is, a go, this is an old one, so I don't know why it's still online, but if you're from, from Pittsburgh, this is awesome. Uh, okay, that one's not there. I thought it was there. They, they took it off. There was one for Three River Stadium that was still online, but it's gone. Uh, must have been taken down. Let's see if this one, there's an old one from 1994. Oh my God, it's still available. This is great. All right, so um, let me go here and we could try this one. This is a good one. So this is a camera. So www.fogcam.org. It's from 1994. It's still world's oldest webcam live from San Francisco. Still um, runs, which is crazy, but whatever. Back then it was phenomenal. So let's see if there's, I'm assuming that there's no issues here. Um, so let's do a scan here. Yeah, let's get the IP address for this. Just to curious. So go to CMD and I don't know why this is so small. Yeah, so at least you can see what the heck I'm typing here. Um, so I'll go here and ping that. So I'll do ping www.fogcam.org fog and then we'll get the IP address which we just got so now I'll come up here and try directly hit an IP address to see what we get 72.104. Come on, 100. All right, so let's turn this off. All right, so now I'll do an intent scan again. It should be the same thing because you're hitting that same address, but now we're just hitting the IP address directly. And so, okay, so scanning four ports, um, parallel DNS resolution of host one at 1623, initiating a uh, stealth scan at 17, 1623. So it doesn't look like we have any issues here. There's no open ports. If there was open ports, we'd have them here. So let me see if I can find another site. We'll find something, hopefully. It wasn't done scanning. So this is a good one here. So we got a, a lot of feedback here. Scanning it, found some open ports. Uh, it does the trace route. So what you can do is, um, it just does this right here. So you could do, um, oops. So you could do CRC routes and then you could put the IP address. So like 216.172.104. Uh, 
4.100. Oh, did I do it wrong? Hold on. Trace routes. Trace route. <laughs> I can't remember how to write trace route. It's been so long since I did this. Um, oh, I think it's that. I used to have to do this all the time for my first IT job I've ever had. And, um, all right, that's T R A C E R T, and then an IP address. All right, so, sorry, took me a while to remember. So, if you do trace route, the IP address, it will give you the route of where the, uh, um, how it gets to the website address. But in the meantime, if you go back over here, it pulls this information into this uh, screen right here. <laughs> um, it shows the locations where it has to go to make uh, the call. Uh, initiating it, doesn't look like, scanned it in one IP address in 36 seconds. Uh, looks like it's actually, and, it, and then it has this topology right here, which kind of gives you an aerial view of how it got to there. So it started at the local host, Worked its way. So it shows you all the trips, like all the computers that had to communicate in order to even get there. Um, in the host details, it tells more information, filter reports. Uh, it shows you how many ports are filtered, um, not available. Uh, it has some comments, no comments there. And then just that actual scan. So this is a way for you to evaluate if there are vulnerable websites out there. So let's see if I can find this one. But you know what we can do is in another video, I'll show you how to um, take your local computer um, that you're connecting to, and or you could do it yourself, um, which I'd recommend um, opening ports, on the firewall. So we could do this here. We can actually, uh, you can go into your administrative tools. Um, so let's, uh, for example, if you want to go into your firewall and shut stuff off, um, you could do that. So let's actually go out here to administrative tools. So you could do this on your computer that you're connected to. And after that, you want to go to Windows Firewall, which is right here, Advanced Security. All right. So we can't do this computer because we can't connect to this computer. We need to connect to another computer because we have the software on here. Uh, you could have inbound rules, inbound rules, yeah. So you have all these rules here. You can set up a new rule. And you could just do a uh, new rule right here. All right, roll type. And now you have programs, ports. We could click on port. And uh, let's say we could hit next first. And then say a specific port. So let's say that we open up port 2002 and hit next. And then what we could do is you could click allow connection. I'm not going to complete this um, you could hit next here and then we're not finished yet and then you could give it a name like uh, test open port and then hit finish and then what you could do is you could run the scan on your on that computer that IP address and then you should get an open port so I definitely want you guys to do that for your assignment um, there's ways to do it through command shell as well or you can actually uh, PowerShell, I'm sorry. Uh, so you could do PowerShell. Um, it's a Windows PowerShell. It uses a uh, it uses a, uh, Win a Linux environment, so everything is like in Linux terms, LS. Uh, so it uses a basic Unix stuff. We'll teach you later on how to use some of these features, how to do that on the fly. Um, but for the most part, uh, this is the end of this video, and this one is just. Uh, talking about port scanning, so you'll have to do this for your assignment, but I wanted to provide you some, tutor some tutorial on how to uh, do that. So um, next thing we'll do is we'll talk about uh, how to view log files and so forth. Uh, for the most part, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.